this is Jackie. I'm here to teach you how I play Who You Say I Am by Hillsong Worship. It's traditionally in the key of G, but I'm playing in the key of E. So I have this fun transposing cheat sheet that I love to use. I didn't fill it in all the way, but you can get something like this similar online. It has, uh, it's based on the number systems, so the numbers at the top, and then the key is on the side. So traditionally it's in the key of G, which is down the bottom. We're using the chords one, four, five, and six. So one is, you know, the root chord, root note, um, or root number. <laughs> and then, so I just transposed them from where it is. Um, so I hope that's helpful. The sixth chord, um, because it's a minor chord, the E minor, in, um, because it's in the cheat key of G, you know, normally the song has an E minor. So I just made the C sharp into a minor as well. So C sharp minor. So I will put this in the description below and hope that's really helpful. It's one of my favorite things in the whole world. Okay, so I do it in the key of E and I put it on caper one. So the first chord is the E. So there's only four chords in the song. So the one, four, five, and six. So the E is the one. Then the six is the C sharp minor. Five is the B. And the four is the A. So I do these um, shapes up here because I just think they sound really pretty. And I just love that open sound. You can play the traditional chords of the E, C sharp minor, B, and the A, um, or you can do them um, throughout the song. So you can start with the E's and you know the ones down here, and then in the chorus build it up here. So I'm gonna teach you how I play these on, what these are, and just hope this is a real blessing for you, and it helps you be able to play this amazing song. A little better. So the first one, the one chord, the E, is we're doing fret eight and ten. And the most amazing thing about these shapes is that your fifth and fourth finger never move. You just anchor them right there and they stay there the whole time. It's the best thing. So um, you do your pointy finger, second finger on your A string on the eighth fret. And you want to push your thumb, your finger up, so you're muting that E string. And then your fourth and fifth finger are on the D and the G strings on the tenth fret. If that helps, that's your E. Then the next chord for the verse is your C sharp minor. So your third finger is going to be on, this is all on the 10th fret. So, and I'm counting frets like across the thing. I'm not like minusing one because I have a caper on. This is the 10th fret if I have the caper on or off. So that makes it easier. So I have the, my third finger on the E string on the 10th fret. And then those two, four and fifth fingers staying on the D and the G, the fourth and third strings. And I'm counting up from the bottom. So this is the first string. Your high E string is your first string. Low E is your sixth. Um, C sharp minor. I'm also muting this A string with my finger. You don't want to hear that. So you don't want to hear the, the A string. Then the next chord is the five, B. And so back on my pointy finger on the, oh, here, let me give you that. Then my B string, B chord, um, first finger on the eighth fret again on the E string, and I'm muting the A string, and then those other fingers are staying right where they are. B string, uh, B chord, sorry. And then the last chord, the four, is the A. And I am using my thumb to mute the E string. So I'm back on the 10th fret again, keeping my fingers on the D and the G. Um, and I'm just muting that. So the verse, and I'm gonna put the chords um, progression or like layout in the description below. But the verse is, starts with the one, uh, six, five, and then back to the one again. 
so it'll be Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? Oops, sorry. So you do the E there. It's the only time you do that in the verses. Who am I that the blah blah blah? Back to the E. And then um, every other time you do do the A. Maybe in the second verse you do the exact same thing. I'll check on that again. But then it would be I was lost, but he brought me oh his love for me. The A and then back again. Oh his love for me. And then do the E for the chorus. The sun says free to the B. say that one more time for the verses you have the E C sharp minor B E then E C sharp minor B A C sharp minor B A then the chorus is E C sharp minor B A E C sharp minor the bridge I am chosen not forsaken I am who you say I am you've got the C sharp minor B E and then the A it's kind of like a fun little walk through down there so I'll say it one more time for the bridge C sharp minor B E A and then back into the verse again that was really helpful and um, it helps you play this wonderful song a little bit better. So let me know what you think um, in the descriptions below in the comments and hope you guys have a lovely night and I will talk to you soon. If you want to see the full video it is in my YouTube channel and I will add the link in the description and happy playing!